Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. I just want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Lock Pro. We've teamed up to offer you some of the best protection you can have for the disc locks on your motorbike. Lock Pro prevents your disc locks from being easily smashed off with a hammer or an angle grinder. So stay tuned because soon we're going to be giving away one for free. Be sure to check out their website and Instagram. Links are down in the description. For those who have been watching my videos for years, you'll know already that I don't do exposure videos like Handmuff used to. I've always reported on those who have been chased and caught by the police. In this respect, this video is going to be slightly different. On Tuesday the 13th of October 2020, at 14.30 hours outside Honda Chiswick in West London, my friend had a bike stolen by a seemingly undetected pair of thieves. An hour after it was discovered stolen and shared on Instagram, a well-known thief posted it on his social media. This is when I recognised him as a person of interest I'd come across before. As it happens in the previous year, I'd screen recorded a lot of his stories to share with my friends in a group chat. What you're about to see next has never before been seen by anyone outside of this thieves group of friends. These videos were recorded over six months. He changes his IG name multiple times, but I assure you it's the same account. I was fucking ready, bro. Someone does not rate someone's thing, bro. Someone does not rate.
multiple people followed him to plead to him to give the bike back. Instead, he would reply it with racist remarks, abuse, and denial of even touching the bike. But little did he know that the net was tightening around him as we were receiving multiple names and addresses, all confirming the same person's identification. It even came to light that Paul had been issued with a restraining order from the mother of his child after he beat her up. No doubt, after feeling the solid pressure of two days harassment and hounding online and underestimating the enemies he was about to make, the bike was left abandoned and found by the police. My mates from the NW10 bike group raced over to secure it and recovery was arranged by Biker Biker. Her MT07 was in a beat up state but thankfully repairable. Let me introduce to you Paul Michael Million of Lambert Grove, West London. He's since disappeared off social media and rumours from his friends are that he's fled the area. Ace Cafe at North London, formerly one of his favourite hanging out grounds, has now been plastered with his face. Paul believed he could operate with anonymity, but his luck ran out. With his mantra of no face, no case, karma finally caught up to him. Now we have his name, his face, his address and his history. Let this be a stark reminder to all thieves out there watching this video. You can and will be found, not just by the police. It never ceases to amaze me when you see the true identity of people like Paul, who act tough online, pretend to be untouchable, and try to intimidate others, because it always turns out to be the same type of uneducated, prepubescent, spotty little kid. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this, what you think should happen to Paul, whether you think he's going back to jail if he gets caught this time, bearing in mind he's already been given a suspended sentence, and what you think of some of those crimes he was committing earlier on in the video. So guys, thank you for watching, you've been awesome, I've been legit. I'll see you in the next one.